So I will not tell you everything you always wanted to know about uh, Wikimedia, but uh, I will be uh, very afraid about what you're going to ask. So uh, that, is the, that is the promise of this, uh, of this talk. Uh, here's a, an overview, and I, and I will want to keep it brief also because we're now at 20 minutes behind schedule already. So uh, there will be very few uh, uh, opportunities for questions immediately after uh, my talk, but I'm around for the rest of the day, so please feel free to grab me and pull me aside. And I do work for the charity, so uh, uh, you're more than welcome to even, you know, uh, uh, see me even outside uh, the time we have here today. Um, there are three things mainly here at the top that uh, are listed uh, by the charity as uh, uh, education activities. Uh, the first is education outreach, and Martin has spoken uh, quite broadly about this uh, already, so I won't really be going too much into this, but I will be uh, mentioning a couple of things relating to that. The EduWiki conference um, is going to happen on the 1st and 2nd of November, and this will be announced uh, formally in the coming days. And uh, there is a Wikimedians in Restaurants program uh, that most of you will be aware of. And there's a session about this this afternoon. So again, I won't be saying too much about that. So what will I really be talking about then? Um, I think there are three uh, <laughs> ways to look at uh, each of these uh, three other activities that I've already mentioned. And, uh, and this is the title of the red, the, the, each of the three parts of the rest of my uh, presentation uh, here this morning. The Wikipedia problem, um, which Morton has already alluded to a little bit, but I'll, I'll go into uh, some other aspects of it. Um, going beyond Wiki, uh, Wikipedia, which is part of the way we address the Wikipedia problem, but also the Wikipedia adventure, which is a game, or maybe not. Here's uh, The Guardian uh, from just a uh, a few days ago, or maybe now uh, the previous month, it's the 13th of May. Should university students use Wikipedia? To a big resounding no is what came out uh, of this. Uh, there's obviously uh, those who think the answer should be yes, um, and those of us who think the answer should be yes, but. Yeah. And uh, what is that but all about? So here's um, a little slide that I prepared. Um, and this is just initial musings, if you will. Um, this isn't um, something that, that's based on an in-depth study. This is, this is just uh, my professional impressions, if you will, in the role that I've taken over the last uh, three months, but also in the previous three years of using Wikipedia in the university classrooms at the university where I also teach, which is the University of Hull. Um, so you'll see here that there's uh, two uh, points here, what students in higher education uh, think about Wikipedia and what academics in higher education think or do with uh, Wikipedia in relation to this. Um, first is that students are largely consumers and readers of Wikipedia rather than editors of Wikipedia. Um, most students are unaware of what Wikipedia really is, which is to say they use it freely as a source for their research papers. Now, why is this a problem? Well, academics in higher education discourage the use of encyclopedias in general. Uh, uh, we are also aware that students use Wikipedia widely, and also mostly against the use of Wikipedia at the university for some of these reasons that I have just mentioned. Now, where does all this come from? I know there's a lot of text on this slide, so please don't try to break it. I'm only going to focus on one point here from that. <coughs> this is a, a Turnitin is plagiarism software that most universities use. So every um, academic paper that's written by a student is put through Turnitin. And there were 100 million, uh, excuse me, 28 million uh, student papers submitted to Turnitin between July 2011 and June 2012. Right? There were 112 million content matches from them, and Wikipedia continues to be uh, the most popular student source. So this is the point that I'm making here. Um, incidentally, we're talking about 57% of matches. 57% yeah? 
of those 28 million papers. 50, that's, that's a staggering, that's a staggering amount. Um, and so Wikipedia continues to be the, the, the most popular um, place that the students shouldn't be going to. Is it weird? Which is uh, worse than having them go on a bender on a, on a Wednesday evening before their paper is due, really, in some ways. So, how do we address this? There are all sorts of ways that we should be addressing this, and we are already addressing this in, in some of these ways. And these clearly include um, bringing um, um, appropriate training into uh, the use of Wikipedia, particularly its editing, yeah, into the university classrooms. I'm not going to dwell too much on this because this is uh, clearly um, the big elephant in the room, as it were. Um, and so I'm going to move on to the next thing also uh, because of time. So in engaging with the education sector, what I have found, especially over the last three years that I've been working for the charity, is very useful. It's this idea of going beyond Wikipedia. Now here are three um, learning societies or, or uh, professional education associations or whatever you want to call them that we have connections with. Um, I think one of these was on Martin's list. Uh, there are others on, on, that were not on Martin's list clearly, you know, because uh, there's only so much you can fit on the screen. Really. Um, and what I found in, in conversations with them about how we can take this forward, so for example the Society for General Microbiology Communications. Um, one of their executive committee members was at the EduWiki conference last year. They're interested in, in um, having an event to create awareness of um, Wikimedia among their members. They're very hesitant for that to be editing Wikipedia or even having anything to do with Wikipedia. It would seem that Wikispecies is the place that they would feel more comfortable. And the same goes for the Biology Online Media Group, for whom uh, we had a, a training session last summer, um, I believe. And uh, the other one is a wiki source, where um, things like archiving were mentioned, and where original research can go, and, and this kind of stuff. So um, papers that are presented at conferences, if they're made available, yeah, CC, bye. Essay. What you have is, is uh, something that can go into Wikisource. And so, um, just a few days ago, uh, we started a conversation with the Theatre Performance Research Association, who are very, very interested in even possibly having a Wikimedian residence over this coming summer in relation to this. But I'm sure there are other ideas. And so I would love to hear from the community or anyone interested in, in relation to this. Wikimedia is more than Wikipedia. This is, this is something we, we, we really need to you know, have as part of our daily mantra, almost, I think. Yes, Wikipedia is the greatest asset that the global Wikimedia movement has, but there's more. There's much more. So I don't want you to think I'm poo-pooing uh, Wikipedia anyway, please. Uh, so for the rest of the time, I will speak about the Wikipedia Adventure, which is uh, uh, written and created by uh, 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 Jake uh, Orlwitz. And uh, it's a beginner's guide to Wikipedia. I don't know if you've seen this. Another way that it's being described is as an interstellar track. Yeah? And uh, I'll come back to this slide in a second. This is what it looks like. It's, uh, it's on, it's, easy enough to find on Wikipedia, even if you just type Wikipedia Adventure, this is what comes up. And uh, it's still in an early, in an early uh, phase of development. In fact, you know, it's a draft stage really. It's not, it's not very, very user friendly yet. But I, uh, I had one of our former students who is now a postgraduate education student at uh, your college, uh, you know, give us a comment about this because she's had She's had some time looking at this and, and she was thinking of using it in her teaching practice and all that. She says it's a creative and fun tool that promotes learning, accessible for new Wikipedians at any level of knowledge. And this is the important bit. Yeah? If we're thinking of really making an impact with younger aged pupils, 
students um, going uh, looking at uh, Wikimedians or even Wikipedians in this case uh, who are younger than say the age of 18 then this is certainly possibly one of the things that uh, we could be using to engage with them. I think I'm out of time so I'm going to stop there. There's a lot more to say but what I wanted to do uh, this morning is to, is to give you a taste of uh, the state of the nation as it were, you know, the, the, way, the way things stand and especially now that the charity has a, has a half-time education organizer and so some of the thoughts that someone in this role can be bringing in relation to this thing. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're, we're 15 minutes behind time now. So um, I, if, if there are any pressing questions of clarification more than anything, rather than, than, than questions you know, to add on to, to what I've said, uh, which we can do perhaps later. Uh, I'm more than happy to take any questions of clarification. Or people can email me. It, it, the email address is wrong. It's, it's, it should be Tony. Um, I think that happened because it didn't fit for some reason. <laughs> it's Tony. Sand at uh, Wikimedia the Lord UK. Yeah, and and if you prefer to tweet me, that uh, that's that's uh, so it's Tony. Sand. I I apologize. I think you prefer to tweet you. It doesn't go through prison. Well, sure. Not that we know. So any, any questions for clarification? I'm around, so, and if anyone you know, uh, uh, wants uh, my full email address, I do have some of my business cards I can also uh, happily share with you. Thank you very much.